on top of you, okay? It's very, very important for him, okay, to make sure that his nose never crosses my center line. That's part of what this leg is out here. That's kind of like a tail on a cat, all right? It helps with balance. If he starts fading over my center line, it becomes very easy for me to lift that knee and start moving him. You see? Now, anytime I extend my arms, anytime I extend my arms trying to push on his chest, his hips can now move around. He can attack my elbows. He can attack my neck, right? But if I can start attacking his limbs and getting him off balance, it's much easier for me to escape. Makes sense? So he's keeping a good knee on belly here. That foot needs to make sure that it's attached here. Rotate a little bit so you can see. If that foot is sticking out, it's very simple for me to come underneath and control his hip, right? So that's why it's so important to keep that foot off the ground, making him attached to me, and then glued to my hip. Yes? Yeah. Cool? All right. So first escape we're going to do is just to attacking that foot. Now, I'm not going to be able to pull it towards me very well. I'm, I can't get underneath it to scoop it. So instead, both of my hands are going to go to his foot, right? Why do I never push on the knee, Seth? Just push the elbow. Arm bar. Arm bar. And he attacks that arm. Yeah. I swear. Trust me, he does. Okay? So we never want to make a teacup. That's why we call that the teacup arm bar, right? I never want to stick that elbow out. Or it may be like St. Morris, right? He can attack that. I always want to protect my elbows. My, both my hands are going to go to his foot. I'm going to shrift to my hip, push that foot in between my legs. Now I'm going to hold that foot there, and I'm going to give one more shrimp to get his knee to the ground. Cool? Simple enough? One more time. Two hands on the ankle, get my leg to the ground, push his foot in between my legs, and my elbow stays here on his knee, just like I would from an elbow escape, to hold his knee as I shrimp away. Latch on with that inside leg. Yes? Questions? So, I always want to make sure that I'm holding on to him with one leg or the other. You see, if I can get his knee to the ground, knee on the ground, please. We call this half guard, right? It's half of full guard. Shocker, we're not good at naming stuff, right? But if I'm not holding on to him here, I did all that work to get his leg in the middle, but now he can easily just step right out here. You see? So, I want to make sure once I do all that work to get his leg in there, I hold on with that inside leg that allows me to have a lot of mobility on my outside leg or start using this foot to attack. Or if I want to glue him in place, then I hold on with my outside leg. Now I can get up to my knees much easier, right? Or I can start coming back through the guard much easier. Right? So the inside leg is for holding and moving. The outside leg is for holding and rotating. Okay? One, two, three.